after that the urban heat island effect i slightly expanded this discussion and here what do you understand by urban heat island effect enumerate the advantages of trees and the vegetation in the urban environment what are the advantages of trees and the vegetation in the urban environment here you see urban heat island effect this article talks about bhubaneswar city and in bhubaneswar city in fact iit bhubaneswar has conducted some experiment here rapid urbanization with the changes in the land use pattern because of these reasons forests have gone green cover has gone vegetation has gone because of these reasons in bhubaneswar during the past 14 years the temperature within the urban area is increased by 1.8 degree centigrade in comparison to other places so in comparison to the non urban areas the urban areas the temperature increase that is known as urban heat island effect it is so for several several cities also and cities have to develop green cover and then only this problem can be solved in fact the team of iit bhubaneswar found that increase in urbanization has been rapid at 83% in the last 15 years bhubaneswar has seen rapid growth and bhubaneswar was once covered by three forests but in 1999 odisha super cyclone most of the forest areas have gone and now small percentage of this forest cover is remaining so the increase in the temperature because of the loss of green cover and because of the development of the concrete structures because of the concrete jungle the temperature in urban areas will be more than the adjoining areas that is urban heat island effect then what do you understand by urban heat island effect the loss of green cover because of various reasons impact because of loss of green cover please look into this pictures loss of green cover maybe due because of road widening maybe because of improper monitoring in urban areas maybe because of more and more concrete jungle and here land use pattern that is not properly defined in urban areas now andhra pradesh capital amaravati the chief minister says that he want to ensure more green cover so in the cities which were de were developed after independence this aspect was not thought of because of that what happens the cities are becoming this urban heat island effect so here in bhubaneswar 89% decrease in dense vegetation in fact during the past 15 years or so there is 89% decrease in the dense vegetation and 83% decrease in the crop fields because of urbanization this crop fields were converted into urban areas because of that more than 80% decrease in dense vegetation occurred and loss of green cover is one aspect and the other aspect is it is compounded by built up areas and concrete structures the other important aspect you should not forget is in the process this urban areas are becoming warmer than the surrounding non urban areas and two three things this cutting of the trees loss of vegetation more concrete jungle all these things are in fact the main factors for this urban heat island effect then for instance delhi is 4 to 12 degree centigrade warmer due to the urban heat island effect in fact this is as per the news article but i doubt this with proper planning we can minimize the impact but proper planning in urban areas is a far cry then trees and vegetation in the urban environment what are the advantages there are around 7 8 advantages of trees and vegetation in the urban environment first and the foremost is trees and vegetation lower the surface and air temperatures because of the green cover because of this trees what happens the surface temperature will be reduced and air temperature will be reduced why 
surface temperature is reduced because of shade you see, you see this is the shade so because of the shade surface temperature will be reduced then air temperature is reduced how because of the reason this evapotranspiration occurs transpiration is the continuous process in trees that is the water is transported from the roots and it is carried right up to the end and subsequently through the leaves it is in fact evaporated continuously that is known as evapotranspiration when more green cover is there then what happens evapotranspiration will be more because of which the air temperature will be controlled or reduced and because of the shade the ground temperature will be reduced because of these two reasons the temperature because of vegetation will be under control or will be less then planting trees is typically most effective for cooling a building a building in fact if it, the building is surrounded by trees then what happens then naturally you can cool the building and here if the windows are shaded and part of the building's roof is covered with the trees you can see in some villages in urban areas you don't see because if at all any small area is there you will see five floors, ten floors, apartments. So, but technically speaking, planting trees is most effective for cooling a building and especially if they shade windows and part of the building's roof. Then, trees and vegetation that directly shade the buildings demand, decreases the demand for air conditioning. So, air conditioning demand will be reduced. Then, because of the trees, improved air quality and lower greenhouse gas emissions you may have a doubt how the air quality will be improved because they remove air pollutants they absorb certain air pollutants and store and sequester carbon dioxide all of you are familiar that green cover sequester carbon dioxide so the carbon dioxide in the environment will be reduced if more green cover is there so, this is very important. They remove air pollutants and store and sequester carbon dioxide. Next, vegetation reduces the runoff. Because of vegetation, the ground runoff in case of rains will be reduced and it improves water quality by absorbing and filtering the rainwater. Then, reduced pavement maintenance. If sufficient trees are there around the pavements, then what happens? It will reduce their maintenance. Then trees and vegetation provide aesthetic value. They will be looking good. And here, in fact, because of that, human beings will feel happy. So, habitat for many species and these trees can become habitat for many species. And at the same time, they can reduce the noise pollution also. Right, friends? Trees and vegetation in the urban environment have got lot many advantages. But where do you find the trees? That is the biggest problem in our country. Right, friends? Let us leave this discussion here.